Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to continue our mini series on one signal implementation. So let's proceed with uh, our project setup. So open your project, your schedule project. What we want to do here is create the layout to get our one signal details and also to test uh, sending of a notification. So in your project, you're not going to implement like this. You're going to do it in a way that you want to achieve exactly what you're looking for. But in this sample project, I'll just show you the basics of what you need to get around one signal. So what I've done is I've added a linear. In this linear, I've got an edit text. Sorry, a text view, text view one. This text view one will hold my one signal uh, id when i click on button one to get the id then i've got three edit texts one is for title the other one message then the other one image url then i've got a button send notification what happens is i can fill in those edit texts and when i click send notification i will receive a live notification let me just show you a sample on my compiled app before we proceed for you to see what we are trying to achieve so i click on the button it gets the one signal id then here i'll enter a title let's say news and I'll say is awesome. Then image URL. I don't have any image URL. I can just leave it empty or enter anything. But if you've got an, a URL, you can put it there. And your notification will have an image when it arrives. So let's send this. See if it works. There we go. The notification has arrived. Here. News is awesome okay so let's go back to our project uh, in our project let's look at our logic in on create in on create uh, don't mind these, these are comments for those who are going to download the project in sketch and want to get to know a few things you can read the comments so basically what we need here is we add the component uh, firebase cloud messaging i named it fcm then i drag it there firebase cloud messaging you can find these blocks in sk teacher so i drag it there i also drag the component right there then i used a one signal block and start in it then you choose your activity i'm implementing in main activity so i just chose main activity then can unsubscribe this allows a user to unsubscribe so i set the value to true then i also have another block saying set subscription so i want to set the user subscription on create to true that's what i've done here Let's go back. Let's go to button one. Button one is getting the ID, one signal ID. So here we just need that. When I click on the get ID button, I use the permission subscription state. I get the state of the subscription of the current user, whether they are subscribed or not. In this case the user is subscribed so we get the user id to our text view then on button 2 which is the button for sending notification we have this what i've done here is i've created strings uh, message 
title, UID, and image. Then we use get permission subscription status. If subscribed, then we send a notification with the strings we had message, use ID, title, and image. These blocks can be found in one signal blocks. Everything you need is here. So it's this one that I used. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to menu. You will need to enable app on part so that you don't have any errors. Just enable that. Then you also need to enable Firebase and configure it. I already tackled how to configure a project in Firebase. So just revisit that video. You will need the project ID, app ID, API key, storage bucket. And you also need the storage bucket URL, which is not really necessary. But for completion of this setup, you will need it. Then hit next and save that. Once you save this, you go to your one signal website we already did the setup in part one of this mini series so you can still refer to that mini series part one to see how to set up your, your project in one signal and how to get the project id so i'll quickly go to one signal here i want to copy my app id okay there you go so the first thing you do is you choose your project then click on settings then settings you choose keys and ids once you do that you find your one signal app id then just copy it we just need the one signal id the rest key is not necessary for this tutorial click on menu then here we are going to scroll down to Android manifest. Then we choose app components add source directly. Then here I've got this code metadata Android name one signal app ID. Then the value you change the value to your project's ID. In this case, the ID that I copied, I can paste it there. Once it's pasted there, just save. Then uh, you are done with the setting up of the project. The last thing you do is just run your project. Once it's installed, you can test it. Let's say final as the title, final. Then a message is SK is awesome. Then send notification. There we go. Final SK is awesome. So we are done with the implementation of our one signal and uh, Firebase cloud messaging. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to channel.